The significant launch of Starship on April 20th from SpaceX's Starbase in South Texas signifies a major advancement in the field of space exploration. This 120 meters rocket ascended to an impressive altitude of 24 miles. While the flight performance was satisfactory overall, several issues necessitated the vehicle's intentional destruction over the Gulf of Mexico. Once the dust had settled at the Starbase post-liftoff, the scale of the destruction was evident. The powerful force of Starship's 33 first-stage Raptor engines had carved out a crater beneath the orbital launch mount. This eruption caused cement and other debris to be hurled into the surrounding infrastructure. The colossal launch also left a significant crater in the concrete under the launch mount, testament to the intense forces at play during the liftoff. Unlike many other launch pads, the orbital launch mount at SpaceX's Starbase lacks a flame trench. Flame trenches are structures specifically engineered to divert plume exhaust away from the pad during liftoff, and they are often used for powerful rocket launches. An excellent example of this can be seen in NASA's recent construction of a new flame trench at Kennedy Space Center's Pad 39B to accommodate the launches of their gigantic space launch system, SLS Mega Rocket. The SLS had its successful first flight in November, launching the Artemis 1 moon mission from Pad 39B. While the pad did sustain some damage from the 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust that the SLS produced at liftoff, it held up well overall. The SLS became the most powerful rocket ever to fly successfully with the Artemis 1 launch. However, the thrust produced by the Starship's first stage Raptors is on an entirely different scale. These Raptors can generate approximately 16.5 million pounds of thrust when operating at full capacity. In comparison, the thrust levels on Starship's maiden flight were lower than this maximum level due to several Raptors failing to fire as planned. Interestingly, SpaceX had considered constructing a flame trench at Starbase, which is adjacent to Boca Chica Beach, but ultimately decided against it. In retrospect, Considering the extensive damage sustained by the launch pad, this might have been an oversight. But as SpaceX continues its ambitious endeavors, it is undeterred by these setbacks. As part of the recovery efforts, the company is pouring significant resources into repairing the launch pad and making necessary improvements to its design. The successful restoration of the launch pad within a span of two months was a testimony to SpaceX's unparalleled resilience and resolve. One of the major modifications during this restoration period was the implementation of a water plume for the orbital launch mount. This water plume is an integral part of the Starship's cooling system during the critical phases of launch and re-entry. It serves as a means of controlling the temperature of the spacecraft, ensuring that the heat generated during these crucial stages doesn't compromise the vehicle's integrity. In addition to the water plume, SpaceX efficiently built the required piles and water supply system for the pad in record time. To complete these tasks in such a short time frame was a remarkable display of endurance, comparable to a marathon. A particularly notable feat during this phase was the installation of a massive water-cooled steel plate. Referred to by Musk as a super-strong steel showerhead, this installation is instrumental to the spacecraft's cooling system. Not only is the description visually evocative, but it aptly represents the function of this new piece of engineering. The plate, with dimensions of approximately 9 to 10 meters across and a thickness of around 15.2 inches, showcases the sturdiness required to handle the extreme conditions of space launches. Supporting this hefty steel plate required an immense amount of foundational strength. To achieve this, a volume of concrete equivalent to the mass of a fully loaded starship was poured into the crater beneath the launch platform. This translated to an estimated weight of about 5,411 tons. To offer some perspective, that's roughly equivalent to the weight of nearly a thousand elephants. This enormous weight rests upon specially designed piles capable of supporting up to 10,000 tons. These structures, driven deep into the ground, serve as strong supports for the launch pad, helping to stabilize it under the immense pressure exerted during the launches. The water-cooled steel plate is a masterstroke of SpaceX's engineering prowess, acting as a dual-purpose solution to two major challenges encountered during space launches, heat dissipation and gas pressure management. The process of launching a rocket generates an enormous amount of heat, primarily due to the combustion of rocket fuel within the engines. 
This heat is intense enough to cause localized melting if it is not effectively managed. This is where the water-cooled steel plate comes into play. Designed with a focus on efficiency and resilience, the steel plate is uniquely structured to redistribute the extreme heat produced by the firing of the Raptor engines. In doing so, it helps to prevent concentrated heat spots that could otherwise lead to the weakening and potential melting of certain parts of the launch pad. However, the steel plate doesn't stop there. It is also continuously cooled by a steady flow of water, maintaining the plate's temperature within safe levels throughout the entire duration of the launch event. This cooling process is critical, given that the heat during a rocket launch can be intense enough to compromise the integrity of even the most durable materials. The cooled steel plate acts as a formidable shield, protecting the underlying infrastructure from the onslaught of thermal energy produced during liftoff. Apart from handling the heat issue, the water-cooled steel plate serves another pivotal role managing gas pressure during the launch. The process of rocket propulsion results in the production of large volumes of exhaust gases. These gases can build up immense pressure that, if not properly managed, could disrupt the stability of the concrete in the launch pad, leading to potential failure. The steel plate is designed to effectively disperse this exhaust, mitigating the buildup of intense gas pressure. By efficiently channeling the gases away, it prevents the pressure from causing the concrete slabs in the launch pad to lift, crack, or otherwise become damaged. This crucial function ensures the structural integrity of the launch pad, safeguarding it from the significant forces it must withstand during a rocket launch. Addressing the issue of launch acoustics is yet another challenge SpaceX faces during rocket launches. The ignition of the booster engines creates a shockwave known as the initial overpressure, which can cause significant stress to the launch structure by bouncing off the pad and traveling up the vehicle. To counter this, SpaceX employs a water deluge system that floods the launch pad with water, just as the engines ignite. This system acts as a shock absorber, reducing the impact of the shock wave and simultaneously diminishing the noise level from a whopping 200 decibels to a more tolerable 142 decibels. That's all for today, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please hit the subscribe and like buttons. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.